Is this? Yeah, that's on. I've got to replace these assets. Something that loads instantaneously and not like after 10 seconds like this. Face up. I suppose I could swap these out now. I wonder if I can recreate this. I would have to... Like, I don't have sunglasses in um, the current model. Which is good and bad. Very sleepy today. Let's see what we can do. So this pirate guy. It's got a good look. I've got a button now called Remix. Pre-fills out all the details to the same prompt, so. If we ran it right now, we'd get an identical thing, so. Problem is, it needs three to five minutes to spin up the model, but we can kick it off now. It's fine. So sleepy. These are so great. These make me so happy to look at.
This weird icon worked out too. It looks kind of like this thing I have in the back. Is this right yet? Take forever. Black to the future. Here we go. It's coming. Exact same thing. All right. So what can we do? Let's make this more awesome. To make it make it bigger, right? this one so what's funny is this is like a dark wizard kind of prompt as opposed to like uh, another one So what I'm starting to Matt, think is that um, this specific prompt has too many references to like beauty and whatnot, and I'm just like kind of an ugly person, like in a very mild sense. <laughs> and so if, if we run um, this on my model, okay, it looks kind of the same. Actually, it is pretty close, to tell the truth. Definitely a better outfit. Just ginger. How's it go? Where's the hat? I like the suit though. That's pretty good. It's too, um. Too clean, you know. I want a better hat. Let's 
It's not awesome. His head is... It's a little too handsome, honestly. His face needs to be a little wider. Like this guy is kind of the right idea, but... So be it. The pirate's a pretty good test. I forgot to wear my watch to the dance class today. It's Amelie live right now. She is. I like the hat at least. I don't like this dark wizard. See, this is starting to get like further away. If we use the same seed as this one. Not so bad. So, this is the trainings that I used for the Grimes model. So this is the the base model that I used for the training sets for my remote service here. So whatever pirate understandings it has inside of it came from the models inside of, or the images inside of here that were used. And then the face is me fine tuning on top of that. And they published a document guide to reproducing their stuff and so, What's funny and sometimes frustrating is that it can become sort of a back and forth fight to um, use the fine tuned information for like the face because like you can see it's, it's deferring to somebody else a little bit here. So here's an interesting prompt. I can, um, I'm not sure. This is pretty cool. This, um, a rogue thief in a gold vest here. Renaissance style. We can run that. Now, I am not a woman, but I do have the Grimes model. Right on that. Is there no negative on this? Is 
So... I don't know if there's a... Fey being used. Sweet time on this. There we go. Less, uh, less static. Change this to close up for the next one. Awful. I'm asking for dark hair. So, okay, we're getting sort of about the same thing. All right, so this has been happening, and I think there's a bug in how my thing does status. So,
I feel like there used to be logic here that said, um, I would reference if that's yeah, not even that good. I would reference if it was totally complete. Close up, failing some camera. thing is that I don't even have a reference to the subject in here so I would have to put um, of OHWX there we go This is looking closer. Right here. Yeah, you can see it. I like the ears. gonna get control net inside of these so fast
there's a little too many things going on here. I'd have to start a new prompt probably to go like full wizard style, but this is cool that like a full patterned sort of gown is working out. But the thing is, there's actually a limit to the amount of tokens you can have on the input. So. So like if we look at this, um, The following part of your input was truncated because Clep can only handle sequences up to 77 tokens. So. All of this was ignored. I wonder what I can do about that. It's starting to get kind of weird, a little like, like a doll.
Having trouble focusing. Look at that. Yes. Pretty badass. Sort of Iron Man here. Yeah, it's doing it again. I a pen to the negative, if at all. Blurry, unfocused. What's so? What's the word for unremarkable? Something like boring or. is too long, it's not getting any of it. That's pretty good. It's my turn up here, the This might turn out to be the first night. That nobody drops in. This was really good. Yeah, this one's also losing.
Here we go. I don't need a way to um, <clears throat> tell people that their prompts stopped at 77 tokens. Here's Blade Runner, it starts giving out weird hair. Sexy big eyes. That's what I'm talking about. So these are a good starting place, uh, prompt wise. But it's like, um, But until I can do something to... Yeah, this one doesn't really work at all. Eh. That's nice. Dancing horse, hello! Welcome in. I am messing with my, I'm messing with my, oh gosh, I got like a headache. 
I'm messing with my custom model training where I've got two applied to this account right here. One of these nice photos of Grimes all baked into this one right here. And it was started off a base checkpoint of this thing called RPG version 4. I'm actually using version 3 internally uh, because 4 has got a a way to package a um, a checkpoint that we have not that isn't supported yet in my back end, but that's okay. Ooh, this is fun. So I'm interested in uh, seeing if I can take advantage of the prompting methods for their demos because it's the same model. And um, putting those into to manipulate Oh, HWX, yeah. So this was a pretty good one. <laughs> and that's not so bad either. Um, it's not exactly as awesome, but... Uh, brightly cinematic shot, realistic fire skin, intricate. So, anyway. I'm working on this because I wanted to show off a couple new things about how... Oh... This is kind of badass. Some new things in how uh, Vibor works. So first of all, we've got this structure here where we have um, normal prompt, negative prompt, and seed for all these controls. This is um, a view you only get to see if running a custom face-off model, um, any one of the ones inside of your profile. But what we have done in addition, new game time. If we start up a round, let's see. Oh, and another fun thing. So I've upgraded um, the chat model to the Turbo Chat GPT 3.5. So we can give it way more verbose things. Like, um, I could say, um, cutesy Lovecraft and the long verbose prose of Lovecraft um, intermittently um, with oo speech intermittently uh, placed within um, heavy use of emojis. They can generate this. It actually takes a little bit longer too. Um, so earlier it would take like three or four seconds. Now it's probably closer to 10. I didn't make it correctly, but um, as an array. But uh, I'll do my best to meet your request. Here's some uwu Lovecrafting vibes for your game. In the majestic ethereal realm of Cthulhu Kuhn, where the ancient ones snuggle and coo in their cyclopean abodes, a shy eldritch abomination yearns for forbidden love from the surface world. The blasphemous creature dreams of whispering sweet nothings to a kindred soul through a veil of eons and dimensions, while being hunted by the dread tentacles of dread Cthulhu Sama. On a stormy night of terror and delight, you must find the courage to help the squishy monster confess its love to the unsuspecting human while avoiding the wrath of the unspeakable horrors lurking about. Will you be able to form a bond between the otherworldly and the mundane, or will you succumb to the maddening call of the abyss? Only time and the stars can tell. So, a few problems with this. One, it's only one prompt. We're supposed to get like six and like choose between them. But otherwise, it, uh, it did a pretty fun job, despite not uh, displaying it exactly as the uh, array that I was hoping for. But let's give it another shot. What do you got?
Look at this. Absolutely. Here's some Lovecraftian vibes with a twist of cutesy and uwu language. From the watery depths emerged a tentacled monster with eyes that gleamed like stars and tentacles that wriggled like wriggly things. The ancient tome was filled with forbidden spells and eldritch incantations, but also with cute drawings of kittens and hearts. At the Mountains of Madness, I found my soulmate, my beloved Shogoth, whose slimy hide and many eyes filled my hearts with a madness beyond compare. And so, yeah, and we can get, like, really wild with this. Like, one of my favorites that I had come up with was, um, um, the genre of Patrick Bateman analyzing pop culture, um, in his internal monologue with his um, overly verbose style of voice. I have to figure out what caused that. Something is sending a room closed message. I don't know what it was. Sorry about that. Um, What's also cool about ChatGPT is that uh, they dropped the price by like uh, 90%. So we can just go ham on these things. Cryptocurrency billionaires de deconstructing the latest Marvel Cinematic Universe installment vis-a-vis -vis the auteur theory. Vegan, gluten-free breakfast of champions with a side of psychoanalytic interpretations of the latest indie pop sensation. Analyzing Kantian aesthetics through the lens of Mary Kondo's signature decluttering method on Instagram. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> but so one of it, one time it uh, would go through, um, ooh, is it coming through louder? Now I've always had a, I've always had a big click clack, but I must, um, my mic must be pointing more closely to it. A sartorially resplendent neo-futuristic culinary exhibition harnessing the power of molecular gastronomy to create edible art. An intellectually stimulating symposium expounding on the theoretical manifestations of temporal paradoxes and the superstring theory. A tonally ambiguous crime thriller exploring the dark underbelly of a dystopian metropolis ripped straight from the annals of postmodern noir. A trenchant satire of the modern art world and the scathing pretensions of its ardent elitists denouncing banality with meticulously crafted strokes of ironic brilliance. So, I love these, but they are all, like, wildly um, overdone. So let's just do, um, um, uh, epic sci-fi music video. Dancing with the stars aboard a robot spaceship. Fighting a losing planet on a bad planet made of lava. Exploring an abandoned intergalactic shopping mall. Huh. Species of a species of a type three Kardash Kardashev scale civilization. Creating a Dyson sphere around a black hole. Huh. The last human alive racing against time to capture and showcase the great works of humanity. A rogue AI openly challenging the Interstellar Council for universal dominance. We're gonna do that one. So I'm gonna start this round off. 
Now, uh, there's one change that we can see on this view right here, where at the very end, there's something for Dream Studio. That one isn't that interesting yet. This is just the official API for um, Stability AI. So instead of this hosted version of Stable Diffusion on Replicate, it'll point to the, to the official one instead. It's not actually any different, so at the moment it's not useful. But we can do one other thing, where if I open this, I can now set the Grimes model and my own model to be public for my games. And now down here, we just got a new option up here for the face off. And by selecting it, it also gave us the new um, uh, text field categories. And so now we can say um, a digital holographic rendering of OHWX. This is um, this is a reserve token that's unused in the um, uh, byte strings mapping out um, ha all of the images inside of the diffusion model and how it operates, and so um, so it's reserved to use for a proper noun to describe the fine tuning character with inside of the face off training. So basically, every time you make a custom model, OHWX is going to refer to the person you added to it. And if you omit that, they won't appear inside of it. But um, a digital holographic of OHWX um, um, as, a, um, as an AI from the Matrix, uh, cinematic special effects. Um, Cinematic special effects, um, mischievous smile, um, position of power, um, uh, medium close up, um, uh, conquering humanity. So in the time we've taken to play with that, it might have let the model cool down. Yeah, so now it's gonna wait a whole three minutes here. But, and so what's neat about this is now, anyone who runs a game room, if they have a collection of their own custom models that they trained, they can make them available to their friends to play and prompt inside of uh, the game whenever they like. So, we're going to try to do that right now. Unfortunately, it uh, ran out of gas earlier. Turned itself off. Oh yeah, this was the fire mage. That's why there's a whole flame back there. These turned out pretty good. These um street cyberpunk look. And so we could just use an identical one of these prompts uh, right here and get the same results and submit it for the game. Um, if you want some pointers in messing with this model specifically. I had it open. Let me just go back. This is uh oh look at that I like it
So these are pretty neat. Um, let's add some details. So let's put um, translucent, monochromatic, synth wave, um, high dynamic rate, HDR, um, high depth of field, data visualization. Music effect. Let's put like ugly, blurry, grainy, unfocused, um, solid matter. Um, light show. That is a weird face. This is pretty cool. It's not translucent, but it's rather cool. This is very cool. I'm inserting ghost. I'm gonna reuse the seed because I want to see if Ghost changes this dramatically. Ethereal uh, mist. Uh. I think it turned out better on this one. I'm adding black latex just because it's the matrix. That's the, uh, that's why I want to see it, right? Well, that's not what I want. <laughs> Let's unlock the uh, seed here. Spooky. This sucks. <laughs> this is far closer to what I wanted. It's just, um, it's a little too, um, 3D depth. Um.
He's like magic girl AI character. It's like dominating all of these prompts here. So yeah, this becomes an interesting thing because most of these are set up to create portraits, right? So if we're, so if this is a rogue AI making a direct challenge, right? So maybe it shouldn't be a medium close up. Maybe it should be Horse says, I'm starting to learn more about names of different camera shots. I have a good link for that. Let's see. I can find it. But for now, it's not listed at that spot. Yeah, it's hard to take a model that was built for um, for portraits uh, and other things separate from and locations as separate things and sort of like induce it into like doing a whole single thing. Oh, dancer cars, you got yours in. In that case. It's the most rogue AI looking thing. Yeah, probably that one. Or this one. All right. You good with uh, you good with your creation? Oh, 
<laughs> Look at this. I like this guy. The council does not know what to do with these guys. It is interesting. Like, that whole, like, Congress place. Like, I was hoping it would, like, build something like this. You know, like, the, uh, those peculiar lights and, um, one from all around. This is really cool. The, um, they, they look like... I like, I like how the robots are like wildly different forms, right? Like, there was a game called Portal where they all had, um, where they, 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 they had like weirdly different shapes, like robot friends who would like, uh, work together. And, um, yeah, it's Portal 2 with the, uh, the assistant bots and they, um, this reminds me of them and also Marvin, the paranoid android from the Hitchhiker's movie. Nice, very cool. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this up for one second. I will, uh, I have to use the restroom. I will be right back. I am back. Finish voting. Oh, look at that. We got two votes of Dancing Horse. One vote for me. Well, thank you for the one player vote. Yeah. Well, he is uh, breaking the ties for us. So thank you, Lethros, for that one. The um, so let's see. So yeah, so we got um, I gotcha. So uh, so that's the new feature. So if someone builds a custom model, they can add it to it. I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have Open Journey as one of the options for the custom model. So. That's pretty good at creating whole scenes containing someone, but it's not as good for creating portraits, which might be the most attractive thing for people to use, which is the RPG model on this one. So it just becomes, it's gonna become a funny way for it to ultimately get it added in. But anyway, so I'm really running out of gas. I'm probably gonna fall asleep um, immediately after this, but um, I can do at least one more round for all this, this stuff. So, uh, what is t -t 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 I want to say the genre of Twitter drama. Yeah, dance car. Sorry that, uh, a feud between unicorns and centaurs is for okay. AI influencer becomes sentient and uses its platform for political gain. That's funny how an AI influencer is not assumed to have sentience, right? Those of us are just like banter online all day. A witch hunt for celebrities that are secretly aliens. That's fun. A mystery drama revolving around a conspiracy theory that the earth is hollow. Ooh. Interspecies love story that incites controversy. Okay. Unproblematic fave influencer that gets caught and cancel cut. This is boring. Let's do it. Um, the genre. Oh, let's see.
New to our profile pic, okay. Is that what you want to generate right now? Do you want a dancing horse up? We can do that. Let's see. Um, we can train a whole brand new model off of like an Instagram feed if you want. That's a little extra step and it'll take about 30 minutes for it to memorize all the photos. But, um, but or we can just work with our normal workflow. So those are the options. Let's see. Um, A fashionable sorceress trying to cast spells in high heels. Ah, cool. Stop. So, um... So yeah, what are you what are you what are you looking for in a profile photo? Like, um, is it something for something abstract, something creative, something like a person, something magical, right? Like, um, Look at that. Well, I made one photo, and uh, I think it looks pretty badass. If you like that, you can hold on to it. That's a that link will always be up, or you can download from there. That's nice. got three hooves here that's a uh, it's a little out of bounds
Yes, it's a horse, but I want the horse to be dancing. It's pretty good. Maybe I should at least add the seed value to this because we can modify the prompt at least here. Oh, that sucks. But it is at least orange and blue complements, so. What? My Dream Studio API doesn't work? That's sad. It's working earlier. Must be related to, um, must have set something up wrong for its ultimate deployment. Oh yeah, so Vibe Camp is doing those um those trading cards. Okay, I have a question. Um So I have like a camper lodging ticket, but I don't know anybody. <laughs> like I know you guys and Brooke through the internet. Should I just like find a cabin that looks um, fun and just be like, hey, I'm going to crash in the Discord area. That's cool. I saw a few being set up on uh, the uh, organizations and stuff on the Discord. I write majestic pose, and that's what it has. Look at that. It's a horse centaur. Half horse, half horse. <laughs> it's very good. It's just, um... So how do we set up the, um, <laughs> so how do we set up our, um, vibe camp badge? Do we have to install like an app for it or is it? Let's vibe app, not yet.
Oh, actually, I do have some things to share. I'm going to have to download that Let's Vibe app. Let's see. So for that Disney party, I went as Gaston in my cheap costume. Turned out pretty good. I had some like golden glove things too. And I had picked up um I had picked up a dozen roses and um Oh, I was talking about that young girl, yeah. The um my plan was I was going to give one to her and dance with her and say, I know that you like special attention. And, uh, but she brought her boyfriend along with her. So I was like, all right, forget this. And so I uh, gave a rose to all the girls, and I had just enough to give one to everybody. So that worked out fine. Boo. Yeah. Let's see. Um, what else do we have? Uh, one lady came dressed as Wednesday, and so she hated the rose because Wednesday can't st can't stand it, despite her mom being sort of a botanist. But who's that? What else am I looking for? All oh, right. Not this. The other thing. Is that. This is Maria. One of the dance teachers, just figuring out how to pull off like a ghost-like, magical, misty kind of look, tattoo kind of look. Like sort of wild ink look. Oh, because it's not on this one. Whoops. It's on this one. This is getting weird. <laughs> This one was good, at least. Look at this. This is pretty good. So while I was copying and pasting, um, prompts across models to try to figure out um, what works in one and doesn't work on others. I forgot to remove the part that said beautiful woman. And so this row is like it taking my model, but then like transforming it into some lady. So there you go. There's my, there's my gender twist for you. I don't know if I see it. What do you think? Maybe something in the shape, tough to say. My gender bend. I think I can sort of see it. Like, 
Just a life of too high test made too wide of a jaw here, right? So if that never happened, compresses down, never lose, never lose it. The uh, never losing the uh, top of the hairline here. Yeah, right there. I could sort of see it. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna take some of these ultra styled prompts and bake them in as buttons for people right when they figure out the uh, how to upload their selfies and yeah I don't think I've gotten what I like as much as this very first one here it's sweet this is a pretty badass photo Very weird orc man. What is even going on? <laughs> There's like an orc in Far Cry New Dawn or something. one Looks like we both got one in. Let's go to the judge. Oh, snap. Look at that. Mardi Gras horse. Definitely here to party. There you go. for this whole thing it's um are you looking for the prompt of it yeah sometimes sometimes you get one and it just won't produce the same thing again um i can at, at minimum i can expose the seed to the um to the engine so that you can recreate this one exactly and then add or remove words to try to get it um, veering here and there. Um, but unfortunately, they don't have a negative prompt on this um, installation of the model, but we can figure out something for that. Anyway, we don't have a spectator vote yet, but uh, should I wait for it or just move it through? I don't know if I don't know if it's weird to say, but I'm I'm kind of into I'm kind of into girl me over here. I was like, huh? We could hang.
Oh, snap. And once again, Dancing Horse takes the round. Yeah, I understand. It's, uh... I'm always looking through these thinking, which am I going to share? <laughs> anyway. So, I'm sorry to say, but I am really beat right now and got to sign off for the day. Um, I saw... So you're having like AI consulted math class for the kids, right? How is that going? What's this? Dinos in the laundry basket? takes to reach the kids, right? Soon they're going to be able to chart that on a graph, drawing lines and directions. Aha. And so the socks and the dinos, they're the like things. Because this is, the socks are P to the 1, the dinos are P to the 0. There's a P in everything, everywhere. It's just a matter of how much P. Is it P, P squared, P zero? You don't have to tell them about P zero. Very fun. I didn't know how to solve something at work the other day, so I pulled up ChatGPT and uh, fed into it the um, the config for the busted file and uh, it gave really actionable advice that amounted to just parsing all the uh, forum posts but um, anyway I am losing it but thank you so much for coming on and uh, demoing stuff with me tonight and um Yeah, I hope you got to play around with like the uh, bonus model some. The um... no problem. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping that makes it the game an attractive uh, feature for people because then they can um, bring all their friends in to sort of like bully each other with their um, with their avatar models and whatnot. Uh, until the next week, uh, thanks so much again, and um, have a good one, and I'm sure those kids are going to pick up the math real quick. All right. Peace out, guys.